I am fixing my two-year-old hybrid coil spring mattress. It has a pillow top and it's just too soft. It's destroying my back. So I plan to cut it off. <laughs> I plan to cut it off and replace it with a three inch top latex top or do I need any sort of thin layer half inch or less between the top of the coil springs and the latex topper? DIY. This is absolutely DIY. What? Why are you doing this? <laughs> What's up guys? Richard the Mattress Pro. We're doing a brand new video today. We're going to be actually looking through the R mattress thread on Reddit. I often glance at this and these people need help. So we're just going to go off of the past five days, probably the past week of Reddit posts, glance over it, answer which ones seem kind of interesting and, and that, you know, I would just, how I would react to it as a uh, mattress professional. So first one here, let's refresh the page here. Let's give everyone a fair shot. This one was an, this one was uh, an hour ago. Okay, it's by uh, U Hot and Chevy. Octave, good morning beds. Good morning beds, it says good morning beds. King bed delivered the wrong size or is it meant to expand another foot? It says, holy hell, I am so annoyed. The king box, or the box said king the mattress has no size written on it. My partner has just come home after spinal surgery and I'm trying to organize this bed as the frame just delivered. And the mattress rolls out a foot narrower than the bed frame with. Now she has to recover on the couch for many weeks until they sort this out, question mark. Edit just measured 54 by 74. They must have messed up. Wrong mattress in the box. The box did look loose. Holy hell, they couldn't have picked a worse customer to screw this up with than spinal surgery. Um, let's see, this is the picture that they sent. I don't know if I can actually see here. Yeah, you can see the picture. Um, yeah, that does look like the wrong size. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, that's a full size. What I was going to recommend is, um, well, what I was going to say before seeing the picture, sometimes they... Um, Oftentimes these bed in the boxes, they do, you know, they do take a while to kind of expand. And also something that you'll notice is in almost any mattress that you order, it's the, the bed frames are made to be a little bit bigger than the mattress itself. Plus sometimes you order a queen size, it's, it's supposed to be 60 by 80. They can always be off by about an inch and a half um, to an inch. So don't be worried too much, but oftentimes the bed frames are a little bit bigger. That case, that was definitely the wrong mattress. Um, so that, that, that sucks, especially after the spinal surgery. But it doesn't mean you can't sleep on it. You can still sleep on it while you're recovering. Uh, but they do have to sort that out. They should send you a new one. If you bought it from me, I would, I would send you a new one. I'm never... Uh, I'm sorry about that ad. Sleep number experience, five years. It's by uh, Ambush24. We bought a sleep number mattress five years ago. We love the idea of the adjustable firm of an adjustable firm, this mattress, we went to the sleep number store, tried out the beds and decided that the C4 mattress was a good balance between price and quality. They were looking for, as soon as we got home, the differences between the store model and what we got were stark. The store mattress felt like a good quality product, but we got, but what we got was a thin layer of foam on an air mattress and it felt like it, We, but we have Gave it a shot and were able to make some modifications to make it sleepable. I already had an Ikea foam topper that we put on for extra cushion and we added blankets and pool noodles in, pool noodles, um, in between the airbags to fix the tremendous sagging in the center, which was not present in the store model. Made it livable pretty good for quite some time, but every so often issues with deflating, we would recalibrate the bed. Okay. And there's an aggressive leak on the airbag. Okay, so wow, that's a that's a pretty bad experience with sleep number. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of sleep number beds for that very reason. They called it. It's literally airbags, like an air mattress, and then you have like a cheap foam on top. The mattress in the store is always going to feel a little bit different than the one you get at home, no matter what mattress you buy. Just because the one at the store is broken in, um, it's been, you know, unbagged or unrolled or however they do it over there, but... It's been broken in, gets a little bit more comfortable. When you get it at home, it's brand new. This one sounds like it was compressed. Um, and it, but people notice, I mean, it's, it's literally just air mattress and then with a foam topper on it, which 
It's kind of a bummer considering you spend a lot of money on those sleep number beds. I'm never the biggest fan of those because what happens is in a sleep number, you're paying for those airbags, but in the end, you're just getting this really cheap layer of foam on top. It's not really anything special. So I'm not the biggest fan of sleep numbers. Um, it's not my thing. They, they said there's a buyer beware. You can check that one out on that post. I mean, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty sad. And the pool, I never heard of pool noodles in the mattress, but that's pretty resourceful, good idea. Um, in the airbags. Nine hours ago, SJK93, hate our new mattress. Last fall, we bought a Tempur-Pedic Lux Breeze Medium. It made my lower back hurt really bad, so we exchanged it for the firm, per the salesman's recommendations after telling him where the pain was. We absolutely hate this mattress. It's too hard. My shoulders and my neck hurt every single day, and my wife doesn't sleep because it's too hard. Even months after getting and doing everything we can to break it in, we just can't return it. How much can we sell it for gently used? It's less than a year old in great condition. We love the adjustable base. We're both side savers. Any recommendations for a mattress? For a good mattress for that base. Interesting. Um, well, I do love Tempur-Pedic mattresses. The Lux Breeze Medium, I can agree. You know, it might be a little bit too soft. I probably would have went with the Lux Adapt Firm too. So I don't think that was a bad recommendation. But maybe, you know, Tempur-Pedic just isn't for you. you know? So... It sucks, you know, I would say let it break in, but you've given it months, even to the point where you can't exchange it or return it, which kind of sucks. How much can you sell it for gently used? Unfortunately, probably not the not what you want for it, you know. Um, your best bet is probably to sell it to a friend that knows you and that wants a good deal on a mattress. Other than that, to sell it used on a market, you're probably going to get maybe three, 200 to maybe 500 bucks, even though it's like a five dollars $6,000 bet. I would try since you guys don't like that Tempur-Pedic feel, or maybe you do, it just doesn't work for you. I would try the new Beautyrest mattresses. I would also try heirloom products. I think they're great. Probably stay away from Stearns and Foster because they use the same type of foam as the Tempur-Pedics, but probably stick with, you know, heirloom, probably the M2 Plush. If you want a softer bed, maybe the M2 Luxury Firm or like a Beautyrest, the Series 3 pillow top or like a Series 4 pillow top. Um, next one, leg... His name's Uleg Orny6979. Recommendations. Hi, I'm moving and I'm in need of a new mattress. I've never bought a mattress. I've always had hand-me-downs or my partner's mattress. I tend to like a firmer mattress. I want to keep things as cheap as possible, preferably less than 400 bucks. Any recommendations or just some guidance on where to start? 400 bucks is pretty tough. That's a pretty tough budget for a mattress. Um, the only thing you're probably going to get for 400 bucks or under, maybe test your luck with Amazon. Um, maybe you can hit up that person for their Tempur-Pedic. Just kidding. Um, but uh, I would probably, uh, maybe Costco. You can't be Costco. If there's a Costco in here, you can buy a mattress from Costco. Great news is you can return it. They'll give you full money back. And maybe when you save up some more money for a better mattress, you can just use that money that you returned into an investment in a new one. Or you might love your Costco mattress. But 400 bucks is pretty rough. I'd recommend up in that budget maybe to about 1200 bucks. Um, but Costco is probably going to be our best friend. Okay. Um, organic Ultra Plush Mattress Options. All the research I do on fully organic mattresses either tells me the only options are medium to firm to go with. Something that has non-organic chemicals slash goos in between the organic layers or in the manufacturing process itself. Only thing that I can find that takes all the boxes with no chems, ultra plush to softer than medium, fully organic is the Nature Pedic line. Am I missing something? Are there other options? Maybe there's other options. Um, you know, you could stick with. Obviously, you probably want to go full latex, and um, but they're they're most of those are going to be firmer beds. They do have softer latex mattresses. They're probably going to be expensive, but from my experience. The full latex organic mattresses that are soft aren't the best, and they're going to be very expensive. My question is, why fully organic? Why not have, you know, just some foams in there? Because the reality is we live in a world where everything you're on is probably not going to be fully organic. The food you eat, I mean, unless it's like fully 100% organic, vegan, whatever you do, um, I mean, maybe the mattress isn't the, the, the worst thing to, maybe it's not, you know, maybe it's not the biggest priority. Maybe you can go for comfort because I think that sleeping throughout the night is going to be more healthy to you than not sleeping but on an organic surface if that makes sense you me and Tempur-Pedic makes three 
25 minutes ago. I hope my bad experience will help someone. Mid 60s male, 140 pounds, 5 foot 9. I sleep on a, slept on a sleep number for years, a few problems. Last year I started to have a lot of back pain, hip pain, so I bought the new sleep number bed. Had even worse problems. I stuck with it even after the 90 day period. They worked with me, but finally I gave up. The return was approved, no problem. My cost delivered and return was 250 each way. Total out of pocket is 500 bucks. Someone at work recommended the Tempur Pedic. I went to a retail store, picked out a hybrid mattress, $29 on sale. I asked the salesperson what's return for this policy. He said, 90 days. You can come back and pick out another mattress. Mattress one time. If the mattress is less, store credit. I agreed. Mattress delivered. Slept on a couple months. Did great. Notice hit back and hit pain coming back. Decided to return it and the fun began. Called the store. Lower back pain is sinking in more than the rest of my body. They said it sounds like a factory defect. It's not supposed to do that. I would need to put in a warranty claim with temper. Same day, put in a warranty claim via internet. Email back, warranty claim you might. It seemed like all, all the hoops that you had to jump through, I was placing a broomstick across the bed. Uh, he, he had to put the broomstick across the bed to try to measure the sagging. Copy and paste it to the website. The return email said it's not affecting my price once, but the company's not willing to stand behind their warranty. Play games are disappointing. Yeah, it does suck. Um, it sounds like they did not follow through on their exchange sucks about the pain from the mattress sometimes the mattress isn't going to solve your every, every pain you have um, you know maybe it was the mattress but sometimes there's people have issues that just can't be solved with the mattress and some customers know this so they try to go with something that can just alleviate that pain as much as possible but sometimes you have underlying health conditions that cannot be fixed by a mattress or mattress salespeople, you know sometimes we can't fix everything and uh, that was a comment on there. Let's see some other ones. How long is the video so far? 11.40. 11.40. Okay. Um, this one says, best mattress for heavy people. I would like opinions on the best mattress for heavy people. My husband and I are both over 300 pounds. What type of mattress is best? We do have a king size bed, currently have a Stearns and Foster, and it's horrible, already begin to sink. I'm hearing a hybrid is good, but also hearing memory foam is good. What are your options, opinions? Um, if you look up best mattress for heavy people, I think one of the online bed companies are probably gonna come up. I probably wouldn't re recommend those. Um, that's just marketing. I would probably stick with something maybe a little bit more traditional. You'd, I would recommend a thicker coil like a 13 gauge coil probably recommend something like a chatham and wells they're they're really beefy mattresses um, maybe heirloom m1 lux top firm that, that's a great option but the reality is i mean anything right you know when you're 300 pounds anything's going to dip and sag quicker um, for, you know for someone over 300 pounds than someone who's not over 300 pounds that's just the reality I'm a big guy, my, my side of the bed sags quicker than my girlfriend's, you know, it, just, it happens. Um, so, you know, it's just something you're gonna have to deal with. You, you have to understand that the mattress just isn't gonna last as long, probably like couches and, and things like that too. So um, I'd probably, uh, probably stick with something with like a thicker coil support though. Something that's made well, you really can't cheap out on something like that. Or if you are gonna go foam, maybe go with like a really firm, dense foam. Um, that is probably what I recommend. New mattress causing shoulder pain. Need advice. I'm six foot, 150 pounds, back inside sleeper. Recently purchased a Beautyrest Pressure Smart 2.0 firm from Mattress Firm. I know I'm an idiot. I feel like one after reading reviews. Mattress felt good in the store, but after sleeping on it for about a week, I've been waking up with bad shoulder pain. The bed is just too firm. I knew about the 120 day sleep trial and the restock pickup fee. If I didn't like it, but wasn't told about the free adjustable base, which isn't returnable, which cost me $300. If I need to return the mattress, all in, it'd be about $500 for returning it. Like I said, I'm an idiot and in pain. My question is, do I just bite the bullet, return the whole thing, or better off just buying a software fixed mattress? Hmm. I would, you're not an idiot. I'm sure that, a, you know, I'm sure that a lot of people do like the, the pressure smart firm. I, I'm not the biggest fan of the cheaper Beautyrest mattresses. I think they're not the greatest. But I'm sure there's a lot of people that it works for, so don't be too hard on yourself. 
the when you say spine is soft latex mattress, it really depends which one you're talking about. I mean, everyone on on this thread thinks latex is like God's gift to mattresses, but I mean, it's nice, but I think there's other options in that store that you can go to. I don't know if you have to, if you're stuck between a price um, or, or something like that, but um, and that's pretty normal to, to obviously not be able to return an adjustable base. Typically that's not refundable, so totally normal. Let's see. Adding support to avocado green. I'm a tall, thinly built older guy with fibromyalgia and old man aches. Old man aches. I made my mattress decision based on Consumer Reports high rating for this mattress. I had no idea what I was getting. The mattress is pretty firm with no give and had almost no ability to relieve pressure on my shoulders and hips when side sleeping. Also, I get lower back pain. Not sure if this is from side sleeping or back sleeping. I bought a Safa Graphite memory foam slash latex topper and it only helped minimally, maybe not at all. Think about a Tempur-Pedic topper because they have stores where I can try one. Creeped out by Visco soft sort of toppers. New York Times, Wirecutter had an article on a feather topper. This might be a long article. No, no. New York Times out from feather toppers. Any suggestions? What do you think of feather toppers? Sad thing is, is a lot of people trust the Consumer Reports. The Consumer Reports is literally just like a marketing website at this point. So all these mattress companies, if you look up Consumer Reports Best Mattress, it's all bed in the box companies, which is annoying because they're just getting a commission on it. So people that trust the Consumer Reports, like, you know, this gentleman here, he's getting misled and he's buying this mattress without even any, you know, anything other than uh, just Consumer Reports says it's good. So. That sucks. Good news is, is you can always make a firm mattress soft. You can never make a soft mattress firmer. Also, probably went with Safa based on the high reviews from Consumer Reports. I'm going to make a video on this, actually. But the thing is, is um, when I was just going, just looking for recommendations, I, I would probably, the, the Tempur-Pedic topper is probably a, a good idea. That's a pretty solid topper for the price, but you know, if you try that out, it doesn't work. You'd probably just have to buy a new mattress, one that works for you. I'm not the biggest fan of the avocado mattresses. They don't feel that great to me, but I like the fact that they are, you know, pretty natural. Okay, let's see. One more. Oh, no. This one's... The, if I remove the factory pillow top to add a latex topper, do I need to add... Do I need a layer of anything between the coils and the latex? <laughs> So I, DIY. This is absolutely DIY. What? Why are you doing this? <laughs> he's gonna cut off the the. He's gonna cut off the the pillow top. Everyone thinks they can just cut off the pillow top like it's a separate piece. You can't do this. I mean, you can, but you're just gonna have a layer of coils, and they're probably cheap coils anyway. So you're gonna put this latex top around this coil like that's gonna look ridiculous. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um. Oh. Just get a new mattress. Why are you doing this? Come on. Come on, Chicken Waffle 135. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. You... I mean, technically, you don't need anything between the coil springs and the latex topper. You probably don't need to cut off your pillow top. <laughs> uh, just buy a new mattress, man. Go to Amazon. Get, get something. Um, that's... Just get, get a new mattress. Get a new mattress. Text me, 818-720-6743. Say your chicken waffles, 135. I'll get you a great deal. Don't worry. And that that's it. This is a fun video. Let's see what you think. Um, if you're interested in this, you probably have a little bit more time on your hands. But thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And, you know, shoot me a text if you need a new mattress. And don't cut off your pillow top. 818-720-6743, which is the match pro, we're out.